So before I even get into this video, I just want to say this is a really cool video and I want you to watch the whole thing through to see the simulation. But anyways, now let's get into the video. Yo, what is up everybody? Spencer Premier here and I am back with a banger today. I know it has been a while since my last post, but I have been busy. But anyways, we are going to be doing a 2K simulation of Dwayne Wade getting drafted to the Cavs and LeBron getting drafted to the Heat. So basically the opposite of what happened in real life and I want to see what happens in this simulation. So if you do enjoy these types of videos, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to really show some support. I truly appreciate all of you guys watching my videos, like I always say, and let's get into this. So basically, Dwayne Wade's at 81 overall, and Big Z is a 79 overall. We might end up turning him to a power forward. Actually, he's 7'3". He's going to stay a center. That's not even realistic. But we have a lot of cap room, and we're going to have to sign a free agent because we are not looking too good this year, at least for this year. In the future, we'll probably be good because we have a lot of young talent on our team. But for now, we need to at least get one all-star. And I don't know why I even just said that because I forgot that I totally skipped the offseason because I just did the draft, and I forgot about free agency. So we're just going to have to rock with this team this year. So we'll see how we do i don't expect to do good but i'm just gonna sim through i'm also gonna fire our head coach for jacob underwood because he's always usually one of the best coaches in 2k sims so we did that now we're gonna actually sim the season all right guys so we absolutely suck 12 and 70 one of the worst seasons in nba history the lakers won the finals i just simulated the playoffs you guys didn't even need to see that that would just be too much of a waste of time but anyways the lakers win and we are going to make some big moves this offseason all right, so we ended up with the one pick. That is a good start to the offseason. We'll see who we draft. I don't even know who's in this upcoming draft class, so we will see. All right, guys, so this draft class is not amazing. Dwight Howard's pretty good, but he is only ranked fourth in 2K's eyes, so I might just go with Luol Deng. I know his career didn't turn out like that good in real life, but we'll see if he does in 2K, so we're going to take him with the first pick. All right, so we have to re-sign Dwayne Wade. I'm also going to go after AK-47, so let's see if we can sign him. I'm going to give him a max deal. Hopefully, he can sign with us. I don't know what the max is. It's probably going to be about 150, maybe even over that. I'm going to go all the way to max because I know sometimes when you don't do max, they just don't sign for some reason, even though it's a lot of money that you're offering. All right, I think this is good. I'm actually not going to go all the way to max because that would be crazy. I'll give him a no trade clause too, and we do sign him. One more play I want to sign is Jamal Crawford. We're going to give him a three-year deal. Hopefully, he can agree. And then that's all I'm going to do for this offseason. And he did agree. All right, so this is our team for the second year of the rebuild. I really do like this team. I don't know if we're contenders just yet. But anyways, we're going to sim and see how we do. I will see you at the end of the season. One trade I'm going to make is I'm going to trade for J.R. Smith for a first-round pick and then Tatum. I really like J.R. Smith. He's my favorite player of all time in the NBA. I know that might sound weird, but he just is for me. So I'm going to trade for him. Alright guys, so we had an average season, we went 500, 41 and 41, we somehow did not make the playoffs, usually you do in 2k sims when you go 41 and 41, but we didn't, so we're just going to simulate the playoffs, see who wins the finals, it's kind of unfortunate we didn't even make the playoffs, but hopefully next year we will, we'll do another, we'll probably get another addition in free agency, I might have to make some trades to free up some salary cap, but we'll see what we end up doing, Sacramento versus the Spurs, Brooklyn versus Miami, Charlotte versus Philly, and then Portland versus the Lakers. San Antonio is running away with their series, and they are in the semifinals against Portland, and the 8th seed, Miami Heat with LeBron, moved to the semifinals, but they lost to the Hornets, so I think this might be the same finals as last year, no, the Lakers were in it last year, but anyways, it is game 7, and the Spurs win, I am so bad at commentating the playoffs because they like sim so fast, let's see, Tony Parker won MVP, and now we're going to go to the offseason. So we just traded away Jamal Crawford to free up 15 million. We got two first round picks for him. We're going to have to say goodbye to Big Z. I love him in Cleveland, but we need to free up the extra like 17 million. So now we have 35 million to sign an all-star. We're going to offer Richard Hamilton a max deal. Hopefully he accepts. Uh-oh. He signed with the Pistons. That's not good. All right, let's see who else we could sign. Jerry Stackhouse. He wants too much money. Mike Bibby is an option. We do need a point guard, so we'll give him as much as we can. And we'll give him a player option too. Okay, we got him. So now we're set for next season. I think now we're officially contenders because we added another all-star. I'm also going to sign this center too because we need that position. Hopefully he agrees. He does. All right, now we're officially ready. I said it before, but I will see you at the end of the season. Okay guys, so third year done with the season. We were the one seed and the Heat did not make the playoffs. So LeBron in his third year did not even make the playoffs. That is crazy. We're going to sim and see what happens. This is our first time in the playoffs, this rebuild. So we're going to simulate it. We should at least get to the semifinals with ease. We win game one. We win game two. They win game three. 
We better not lose to 18. All right, we're up 3-1. Let's just not blow this. All right, we're into the next round, or we're on to the next round against Boston, and we're already up 2-0. These things come so fast, and we swept them, and now we're facing Charlotte, who I know has always been good this rebuild. They take game one, we take two, they take three, we take four. Uh-oh. All right, we got to shorten the rotation a little bit. Mike Bibby is getting 37 minutes. The win Wade's getting 40. I like that. Let's get AK-47 some more minutes. I don't know why he's not getting that many. We're going to take away these bench players' minutes a little bit. And now we're going to give them all to AK-47. I don't know about 43 minutes. We'll give the rest to Luol Dang. All right, so we simcast this game, and we absolutely blew them out. All right, now we're at home for game seven. Hopefully we win. All right, we're actually blowing them out. All right, we move on to the finals against the Spurs. We're just going to simcast the whole series. Oh, we're blowing them out. Man, as soon as I started simcasting, we're just blowing everyone out. We do have a really good team this year. I accidentally stopped recording in sim game three, and we are up three to nothing. We won game three at the Spurs Arena. So now we are up 3-0, and all we have to do is win one of the next four games, and we are finals champions. We're going to simcast. All right, we won. We're the champs. So, in this simulation, if we would have drafted Dwayne Wade, we would have won the finals by the third year. I don't know if that would have happened in real life, but LeBron didn't even make the playoffs. That's crazy. But if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I would truly appreciate it. Comment below any other video ideas, and I'm out.